On to other news now. A 96-year-old woman has become one of the first patients in Britain to be fitted with the world's smallest pacemaker. The tiny device was inserted through a vein in Elsie Day's groin and then positioned inside her heart. It means Elsie can carry on looking after her husband, Arthur, who will be 103 later this month. Our health correspondent, Michaeli Paduano, has been to meet them. 96-year-old Elsie Day won't have a home help and does her own shopping. Most of all, she looks after Arthur, who will soon be a sprightly 103. I do my own washing. I do my own shopping. But I go on the ring and ride to do my shopping. But she was regularly blacking out, on one occasion fracturing her skull. So she's become the first person in the West Midlands to get the latest in pacemaker technology. This pacemaker, he said, will go in your leg and up to your heart. Well, I mean, it seems so funny to me. And we laughed over it, like, you know. Now, after 78 years' marriage, they also have his and hers pacemakers. She's quite independent, minded Oh, independent. I've never known anybody like her for that. Bassie. Well, she, she's only got Bassie because how she's got older. I was a gaffer at one time, but I ain't now. Pacemakers have progressed a great deal since this Birmingham invention in the 1960s. Together, these specialists at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital threaded the £6,000 device into her heart through a vein in her thigh. They believe it will prove safer than traditional pacemakers. I'm sure that this is the first step in the transformation of pacemaker treatment for, uh, for patients uh, with uh, rhythm problems. And I think we will see... Uh, more complex devices being developed, they're already being developed uh, uh, at the experimental stage, but eventually we will be able to pace not just one chamber of the heart, uh, but other chambers as well. Just two and a half centimetres long and weighing two grams, around 20 will be fitted in Birmingham each year. Right from the beginning, I have felt better and better every day. I am absolutely thrilled with it. With a 12-year battery life, it means Elsie and Arthur can get on with their own. Michele Paduano, BBC Millers Day.